So here we uh, click on the Add Media. This will bring a drop down. It says Files and Folders. Click on that. Navigate to where your folder is holding all of your drawings. In my case, I go to the desktop and go down to my folder that has all this stuff in it that I just drew. And by clicking import, I've now imported the entire folder. So once I double click on it, it exposes all three drawings. One click on the first drawing. This will now allow you to and keep your finger down on it. Pull it down into the timeline to video one timeline. It's on for so many frames. We're going to expand the timeline. Pulling the slider over expands it. So now we can see every individual frame more clearly. How long do we want this picture to be on? Obviously not this long, so let's shorten it. Go to the end of the, of the picture. And when you see the bracket, the red bracket come up, that means that you can now lengthen or shorten this picture. So let us shorten it a bit to how many frames we want it to be on. Right about here. Now let's one click on the second drawing and bring that down into the timeline. It's on for, it looks like four frames or so. And now we move the, move the timeline up here. Now we can actually see what that drawing is on screen. Single click on the third drawing, bring that down to the timeline. And now we see that he has gone down into his anticipation move, which will be our last drawing that we're going to put on this timeline. That will be on for, I think, two frames at first, but and it's an anticipation down. When we play it, we see the three drawings playing in order. Click the render button. This will now render this timeline and it'll start to play. And clicking play again has it play once more. So next time, try importing your own drawings into the Premiere or another editing software timeline.